All right, y'all get off the couch like that. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this uh, thing lifted out. guys so we're moving the bed into the room so we can go ahead and get started with putting this baby together so as you can see here there's two boards on the side the non-colored ones the cream color if you will those have to come off and what's gonna go in place of that is the frame of the bed and you'll see what I'm speaking of later in the video so right now Chester is going to go ahead and get the knobs on the drawers there and then we'll go from there So right now Chester is going through everything just to make sure we have all the parts that we need and also to make sure that we go in chronological order so that it's not so overwhelming for us um, at this particular juncture in putting it together because this bed was a beast baby to put together. All right, it was a beast plus two more, two more than beasts. <laughs> So this part here that he's opening are the slats that go at the bottom of the bed. These have to be nailed in with a drill or applied with a drill. These are all the parts that you're going to need. They're all labeled so you should be able to get through the project without, hopefully, without having to contact the manufacturer for more parts. We were blessed in the area. So this part has to come off first, guys. Those two planks off the side. So once those are off, we can go ahead and move to the next step. You will need an Allen wrench, 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 wrench to get that off. So we're going to do the same thing with this side as well. We're going to go ahead and take that off as well. Alright guys, so we're we having a little bit of a, a situation here. Let me show you. They got the stairs. They got the stairs right here, right? And then the drawers are on this side. So you literally have to pick 
how you want the bed to be in your room and this this room is a little on the small side for this furniture so we just trying to work it out right now and see if we got to take something loose or what so I'm gonna check back in when we kind of get it figured out Let me know if you need my help. Oh, it's just still recording. All right. All right, so this piece right here, guys, is the piece that's going to go up here. So you need the fat wood pegs, and then it just sits right in there like that. All right, guys, so we kind of figured out a little bit more. This thing is no joke. Okay, so you got a front post and you got a um, back post, which is this. So you're going to have two of those. One is labeled front and one is labeled back. And you got to put one of these pegs in. And the best way we did it was we laid one one of the posts down at the bottom and just put it in sideways so that's why it's sideways right now so if you look at it this way you'll understand what I'm saying so now we're gonna put this piece on top of here and then uh, secure everything down So this portion here of the video is where we are kind of figuring out what the next piece is for the assembly of everything and from what I can tell from the video because everything it's been a minute since I recorded the video okay but as you can see right here he is inserting those screws and then he's going to take the drill and tighten those down. But we're going to tighten them down first by finger. And then we'll go in with the drill as you can see right there. Now we're using the Allen wrench to go ahead and finish tightening everything down at this point because even though the wood is sturdy, you don't want to overdo it. This piece right here, it has to be flush on both sides. So we're going to unloosen one side of this. <laughs> and then um, reattach it because there's there's a screw um, down right up in there on both sides so right up in here this this one meets up with this one so and then down at the bottom of two All right, so make sure, guys, when you get to this part, it's not going to be flush like this side is over here. So the hole is right. So the screw is going to go right in here on through this side and all the way through. And then you're going to do the same thing at the bottom. All right, guys, so this is how we're looking so far. So that um, you're going to have four B screws. There's one at the top. There's one right here, 
one right here and then there's one at the bottom right here so it's not all um, screwed in totally all the way as you can see right here but you can see right up at the top how it's nice and flush right there so I'm gonna try and put the um, instructions and more plainly because the the instructions are clear on that they give you but it's kind of frustrating when you first start now so I'll put as much information as I can in there for you guys so we'll be moving on to the next step all right so the next step is we're gonna take these long posts right here and it's gonna go into that piece right there so you need a which is this size this is the head of it and then you're gonna fit it into this bolt right here you need four of these this is this is a and this is F and F has to line up here Finish up though, it ain't no joke now. <laughs> <laughs> but you that now. Wait, I'm gonna see if I can beat this bed though. Wait, no, you like me, like, uh, challenging. That's when I really want to get it. shaped you're gonna need to use your thumb and then feed the screw in the back and just hold that bolt down until you start to feel the screw coming through the other side I hope that makes sense because you can't really see it and I didn't want to put the camera in the way because he's trying to get it done all right so guys this next step is that headboard or footboard however you want to look at it and this piece right here is the next step so we got to actually put the bed together before it go on top of here and then we're almost done <laughs> all right guys so now we putting the um, guard rail up is what I want to call it and you're gonna use E screws to do that and it's gonna go at both ends on both sides of course I'll try and show it to you once we get this box open. Okay, we got some hardware in there. So, see it's attached. So we gotta try to figure out how this goes. So hang tight. Careful, Chester. Can you, yeah, bring it back.
guys. So that's it. That's up there. Got to get the mattresses. Um, uh, we still got to figure out the trundle. So uh, got to find the pieces for that. Yes, it, this was the easiest part. I told you, so I said, watch that trundle be the easiest part of the whole doggone bed. And that's what it was. So only thing you have to do, you got four parts. The two sides and then the two in the front. The, you know, the one in the back and then the one in the front where you actually pull the trundle away from the bed. So only thing you're doing is taking that and fitting it together. You're going to take those wooden poles, the little short ones, put those on one end of the frame, and then it goes in the other end of the frame. Take your hammer and hit it in there on each side, and then use your bolts to, to screw the back part in. Boom, shakalaka you done like seriously the trundle was totally the easiest part so i hope this video helped you guys if you opt to go ahead and purchase this bed from wayfair it was fun putting together but it was a lot of work at the same time but i got so much joy out of doing it because it's by my boys you know what i mean so christmas time they get to have the bed and um, when my family come in, they got somewhere to stay. So yes, I'm so super duper excited. And just FYI, I got a response back from my family members that slept on the mattresses. And they said it sleeps wonderfully. Those mattresses sleep really, really well. And it's the kind that come in the box and then it opens once you once you let it loose it goes loose so yeah i wanted to let you know that